Do you ever look at your calendar and see nothing but just pure whiteness? It's like a white cow in a snowstorm. But it doesn't have to be this way. And the reality is, is that if your calendar is empty, you are simply never going to hit your sales goals. I come across so many salespeople who, if they could just get in front of more people on scheduled appointments, they would be so much more successful and able to blow past all of their sales goals. So having a systematic approach for setting appointments is going to be key to your success. In this video, I'm going to show you five steps to setting an appointment with any customer. Check it out. Number one, know your IPP. Now IPP stands for Ideal Prospect Profile. And so before we even make any dials or send any emails or do anything in our outreach, we first have to be insanely clear on exactly who we wanna be talking to. And the reason that this is so important is that remember how much effort it takes to actually just get someone to put their hand up and say, yeah, I'd like to talk to you. But let's say it works and then that person turns out to be the completely wrong person. Well, that's because the data and the ideal prospect profile that we had was incorrect and we didn't even wanna be talking to that person because they were never going to be able to buy. So the more clear we are about our IPP, the more effective any of our outreach is going to be. And so one of the best ways to actually tighten up your IPP is to identify who you don't want to be speaking to. Who are those likely candidates that might come across that you know are likely to not be a fit? Being very clear on who you don't want to talk to is going to help you clarify exactly the person you want to be connecting with. Number two, hyper-personalize your message. This is modern prospecting in a nutshell. The more personalized your outreach is, the more effective it's going to be. And remember, this also goes back to your ideal prospect profile. If you have a really tight ideal prospect profile, you can actually personalize a lot of your messages simply by having a really tight ideal prospect profile and then sending out a pretty similar message to each person. Because if you're sending messages to people in the same industry who are dealing with the same problems, then your message can actually be, quite frankly, pretty similar to the other messages that you sent out earlier. Another way, of course, to hyper-personalize is to really have personalization fields in any of your outreach. So pointing out specific things based on some simple research is going to really help the person say, oh, okay, this is a real person who's done their homework, who knows about what we're doing, and that's going to get them to open up much more and be much more likely to actually schedule an appointment. Number three, demonstrate very quick insight. So one of the keys to any outreaches in order to schedule appointments is that you've got to bring some authority. You've got to bring some insight to the table because your prospects are busy. They're reached out to all the time by people. And what they don't want to do is just get their brains picked or probed by some salesperson who's trying to learn about their business or their personal life or whatever it is. What you want to do is make sure that when you're reaching out to anyone in any medium that you have some really valuable but quick insight that you can demonstrate up front that's going to get the prospect to say, you know what, yeah, that makes sense. I am willing to talk to you. That's one of the keys here. It's not about your offer. It's not about your pitch. It's about demonstrating some very quick insight right up front. Number four, understand them. In any outreach that you do, once you've demonstrated that quick insight, now it's time to flip the switch and get them talking. And so the way we do that is we want to have a set of questions in any outreach that we're doing to get them to open up. Once you get them on the phone, you want to be understanding exactly what's going on in their world. What are their central concerns? What's most relevant to them? So again, the key here is that you've demonstrated quick insight at the beginning of the conversation or in any outreach, and then you're turning it back on them to get them to start opening up. The more your prospect feels that you genuinely understand their situation, the more likely they are to want to schedule that appointment and ultimately buy from you. Number five, make a recommendation. Once you've got someone who's actually interested in connecting with you and is willing to talk to you, now is time to make that recommendation. And so what you want to ultimately do is not just go for some clothes or try to just schedule an appointment right away, but instead you want to make a recommendation. Something along the lines of, George, would it be okay if I made a recommendation? 
They say, sure, and you say, okay, great. How about we schedule a Zoom conversation where I can share with you some best practices of exactly what we're seeing other folks in your situation are dealing with right now. Would that make some sense? And now the prospect's like, yeah, sure. And now you have an opportunity to schedule that appointment. The key to appointments is that we're bringing value in that next step, right? If they just think that you're just scheduling an appointment to try to sell them stuff, they're gonna be pretty guarded and uncomfortable. But once you create some context for why that next step makes sense through your recommendation, now they're going to be much more likely to agree to that next step and actually show up. So making the recommendation is a really important step to ultimately scheduling that meeting. So there are five steps to setting an appointment with any customer. And if you enjoyed this video, then I have an amazing free training on the step-by-step -step formula to closing more deals. Just click right here to get registered instantly. Seriously, just click right here. This is an in-depth training that will help you close more deals at higher prices, all while generating more meetings. Also, if you got some value, please like this video below on YouTube and be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking my face, which should be right about here, to get access to a new video just like this one each week.